Ah, hello, welcome everyone. I'm Epic Dude Guy. This is Toka. Bonjour à tous. We'll be doing some <laughs> Legend of K. So, let's see this one when I select yes here, the time will start. So, if you would do the honors, three, two, one, go. In the days of wonder. So, the premise of this game uh, in the cutscene I just skipped. It's basically, if you've seen Avatar, it's the same. Uh, it's like the nations were in peace until the gorillas attacked. That's how so I remember Jesse's Avatar, yes. <laughs> if you haven't seen Avatar, what are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, so here it's just a bit of a tutorial section. I'm gonna walk back and forth, do some quests. The rats are also evil. They're like the, the minions of the gorillas, basically. And yeah, right now, K wants to, K, the main character, he wants to learn how to fight so he can fight off the gorillas. Oh. And to do so, we'll need to get some training. So I'll be going towards that. Uh, yeah, this game came out in 2005 for the PS2 and I wouldn't be surprised if not many people know about it. Um, and then they later, in 2015, released the anniversary edition. It's like a remade version for the PC, which is what I'm playing right now. So this is the master. We'll be doing some training. That's... I, I thought you wanted to train... How to I think I got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> was pretty comprehensive of him, yeah. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, easy. Yeah. So this skips the entire first level. Uh, <laughs> it's a, just a convenient jump, and there's that small rock that you can stand on, and that yeah just skips that section. So we have the sword now, even though we didn't actually complete the training. And now the master is gonna appear here to see if what we learned so far. I think I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. I think you should be called Master, honestly. Oops. There we go. That's the first level done. Please respect your elders. <laughs> Welcome to so yeah, uh, <laughs> bombs are pretty strong, so <laughs> we want to get a lot of them. Um, yeah, there's a glitch in this game called Zombie K. So you might... You can just think about what that means. Uh, pretty obvious, but... I can show it off later. It's very strong and we need the bombs for it. I'm gonna do some preparing here to set it up later. But first we have to do... the best part of this game. According to Eraser. <laughs> Which is the boar race. Do you like uh, war races? Yeah, I like Mario Kart. Mm. Similar. <laughs> you also pick up stuff. <laughs> yeah, if I, if I drift perfectly, like everywhere, I can save up to one second. <laughs> so I'll try to do that. There is a skip for this, but I've only done it once, like, um, oh, it's not good, actually. <laughs> okay. But I do need to make a certain time. Uh, I should... uh, yeah, the skip is pretty much impossible, so I'm also failing these drifts now, so that's not good. Need to do them for a certain time before you get the boost. Otherwise, nothing happens. What's the time? 115. Well, you need to hit the 135, I think, which is pretty easy. Oh, right. But uh, I'm playing on easy right now, so if you would play on higher difficulty, I think it's, right. it's harder to do. So, a bit different route from uh, what you would do in normal attempts, because marathon safety. 
So for zombie K, I need to die and then not be dead. Uh, ah, I see. Oops. Pretty comprehensive. Oh. That's not good. Yeah, what will happen now also relates to the thing uh, Robbie did whenever he collected, uh, for example, let the let the last key or bombs uh, prior to that, and uh, that was to not get a certain text box. Uh, that uh, set text box. But I have another one here with a big blue coin. That was too close. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the the text box always appears even when you're dead, and it can revive you from the dead. Conveniently. Face towards it, face away, drop a bomb, get hit, and you'll fall into the thing and um, not be dead. Yeah, you that's it. pretty much how it works. Yeah. Uh, and now I can no longer take any damage, and none of the cutscenes will play, uh, which is super convenient because all of the fights in this game are tied to cutscenes. And. I won't have to do any of that. So the cutscenes will be like skipped and not appear ever again? No. <laughs> It'll be stored. Ah. Uh, which is not super relevant right now, but will be relevant later on. Um, yeah, they just get stored, and when you get health back, all of them play at once, and then you're back alive. But there are also certain cutscenes that uh, would kill you if you store those. If you like store a death as well. So yeah, down there where I went through, there's a fight there normally, but I skipped it. I, it's not triggering, and now I will get into a save point, which will give me health back, and all of the cutscenes will start to play. We saw K zipping through there. So this is also a skip. <laughs> by doing intended movement or stuff that you can just do. And the bombs are also pretty good for combat, as you can see here. This does a lot of damage. Let's get off the bear, and that's the end of that level. And now we get more fighting tutorials for some reason. I'll just go through them quickly, and we can have a, a donation if we have any. We can do that. I have got five dollars from Seven Alias to Seven. He says, "I can't wait to watch this Legends of Cats run." Be careful about the lava; it's hot. Good luck to Taco One on the commentary as well. I, I presume that's the fusion form of Toka and me um, when we go Super Saiyan. And that, the five dollars is going towards the Frame Perfect, which is for the Step Mania in about six and a half hours. Uh, we're two hundred fifty-five out of a thousand dollars for that. You want to see uh, Frame Perfect dance? To in, in a step game. It's going to be incredible. You must, must, must do it. So let's get those donations in. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, so here I'm just fighting off some rats. Interesting here is uh, the combo mechanic. So if you fight, if you do a lot of hits, you get combo, and those will give you more damage. And they would also give you access to um, other attacks. Yeah, uh, yeah. Basically, what I did there. <laughs> yeah. Forgot that that's not normal. Uh, <laughs> it lets you fly to enemies, basically. Yeah. Convenient. Some later on fights. Um, yeah, they can pr can be pretty scattered, and the dash that you do also negates any damage you would take on the way. Kind of nice. So here, I'm doing a bit of a puzzle to get a magic upgrade. Right now we have four magic thingies. <laughs> now we get a fifth one, which actually unlocks the ability to use magic at all. I think normally you would get it in the first level maybe, but because we skipped everything, we don't have it. We, we really want to have it because it's super strong. Yeah, this one's like right on the way and takes five seconds to get, so. Yeah, it'll really uh, make later fights really fast. Grab a health here. Because dodging fish is hard. If you don't have full health, uh, pretty much all of the bots will give you a health, so that's nice. Unless you want other things from the bots. Like 
Berserk Potion. So in my inventory I have a bomb and a Berserk Potion. You can see it in the top left. And Berserk Potions pretty much speed up all the fights because it just gives you more damage. Oh, that, that was fast. And that's why... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was the magic. Um, and that's why we want to just stack a lot of Berserk Potions for pretty much all of the fights in the game. Which is also the reason why I'm collecting money right now. There's a shop in the game. Like every level just has a shop. And you can buy pretty much all the things you can collect. Just like Berserk Potions. And they get increasingly more expensive uh, the further you are in the game. So right now they're pretty cheap. So I want to get some money to buy a lot of them now. So I don't have to buy them later. unlucky cycle there and when I got here just now this fight triggered but when you don't interact with it immediately and just do other stuff and you come back here this gate is opened for some reason even though it should be tied to the fight so I don't have to do that and then here I'm gonna approach this area from the wrong way around these vines are blocking me or are they so I can do that skip to get here. Skipping another fight. I think the fight that we skip has a gorilla in it, which is like pretty crazy to fight at this point in the game. I'm glad we can skip it. Combat in this game is actually quite difficult, so skip we skip like I don't know, 70% of it, maybe more. Um that's pretty nice to do. So now I'm on to the last uh, subsection of this level. Throughout this level I've been doing, uh, I've been collecting dragon statue eyes or something. And I need to activate three dragon statues to uh, build a bridge preventing me from ending the level. And right now I'm on to the last one. And there's no skip for that bridge thing. <laughs> Not even close? Uh, well, I guess in the other category. I haven't talked about the category yet. Oh. This is uh, real level completion. Which means I have to hit the end of the level with the real trigger. There's also, I guess in the same context, fake triggers, I guess. Uh, these are, are stored out of bounds. And you can jump into them to end the level early. But that's not allowed because... Uh, yeah, with zombie K, you can just go out of bounds and then fly infinitely until you reach them, and that's every level, so it's way shorter. Um, I need, oh, I need some more coins actually. I need 276 money. Uh, I'll just break a pot. Maybe a small word about the movement, like the very basic movement of this game, or of this run, I guess. Okay. 276? <laughs> I guess because right of the bomb, the I don't need the 6, I just need the 270. Right. Um, so as you can see, Robbie's rolling everywhere. However, if you mesh roll, you'll um, do a like, very long roll, which gets slower and slower. So you want to make sure... Um, I think that's correct, right? Yeah. That you... Like you tap, roll rhythmically in a way. Have you, seen you can, you can, you can get. You can, you can, you can. I can do what? <laughs> no, just in general, you can. <laughs> so here's the last dragon statue. Completing the bridge. Now I can end this level. But this level ends up being one of the longer levels. Not because it's actually the longest, but it has the fewest skips, I guess. So our inventory looks good, a lot of Berserk Potions, what you want. <laughs> Here we'll get another item. You guess what it does. Looks like perfume makes you smell good, perfume. I don't know. <laughs> guess it might be some kind of perfume. This will be revealed later. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is um, the Dragon's Den. Not sure, I don't really remember what exactly the point of this level is. <laughs> Just go through it. We can have uh Sorry, isn't this about the like a sword upgrade in the end? Isn't that the main thing of this level? I guess, yeah. I mean like story wise. Yeah. I can't make that. But the, the dragon is evil at us. Just have to dodge his fire attacks. But at the end, he's friendly. And I don't remember why. <laughs> I can't give you insight on that story. Well, knowledge. at least he's indifferent towards us. So. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just take whatever you want and leave. <laughs> yeah, he does have uh, quite the treasure, which we will be able to access, maybe. So, the potion I got is a demon potion, I think. It gives you access to these demon gates. What they're called. Um, they're kind of like hidden areas for K to do, and they usually have a fight and then a reward, and that's it. But we're just gonna take the reward and not do the fight. I think that's called stealing. <laughs> <laughs> so like, these fights are pretty insane at this point, I would say. I'm just gonna do that jump and then we can not do the fight at all. And then get this reward, which is 800 something money <laughs> and many money <laughs> which is really a lot at this point you wouldn't be able to get that much other places around here let's see if i can not get hit here and we get that money to buy the sword upgrade which you can get in this room you do a lot of other stuff Getting the money is a lot faster. Yeah, we made friends with the dragon, and now we can proceed. I mean, friends, like <laughs> business yes, partners, he maybe. He is my friend. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. So, iframes to get up here quicker. Another shop. And that's where we buy the sword upgrade. There's a lot more damage, so we want to get it as early as possible. There's a skip here. I can get onto this thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now out of bounds. Um, there's a, a big boss fight here that we really want to skip. Because I haven't ever done it. <laughs> so let's go here on three and now we can hug the inside of the invisible walls to just not fall in bounds. And then jump around here and then hit the trigger. There we go. That's the, the boss fight skipped. Oops. Okay, that's fine. Just and here we go. Energy. That's the boss fight skipped. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Wow. That is. Yeah, with, you, with these poles, you really just want to jump instantly because. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to jump instantly because otherwise you have to think about when to release, which is hard. As you so nicely demonstrated. <laughs> <laughs> so here we jumped off early to skip uh, basically all of the remaining platforming there. Yeah, so you, like you'd kind of wrap around. So this is already at the end of the level. That was pretty fast. This level will also be pretty short. Why is that? Can you guess what I'm gonna do? <laughs> uh, combat training. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna practice my triple strike as the master suggested. A couple times. I hope I don't fall down in that uh, area there where it's not loaded. Okay. Now I see. So yeah, that I'm gonna just go straight to the end of this level. There's a fight there. 
kind of helps when you know where to go. So yeah, basically you just, if you sword slash into the mud, you don't uh, die. Normally you would only be able to jump three times into it and then you die, so you wouldn't be able to reach this far. But because yes. you, sorry, but like because you sword slash constantly, the game doesn't d detect that you're on the mud yet, like that you're... Yeah, I guess it, it can only like checks. That. I think it only does that check when you jump into the mud. So I, I, I never jump into it. I yeah. just, yeah. I am on it. That's okay. So just this fight here with these bugs. That's it. Get some money. Right, onto this level. Um, this level has three different subsections. The Rock City, Crocodile Temple, and the Turtle Fortress. Normally you would have to go to Frog City first to get a key to go into the Crocodile Temple. But I will show you how that's not really necessary, luckily. Because that area is really annoying. <laughs> you jump uh, directly here, you don't have to do the proper mechanic. So there lies nice, the entrance. Nice arrow, by the way. <laughs> but I don't have a key. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's go like that. But that's like, one of the only differences from the PS2 version from the anniversary version. It makes it quite e a lot easier to get in here. The PS2 version has a skip of its own, but it's uh, kind of difficult. You have to hit a trigger out of bounds. So I'm just getting rid of these enemies some damage. I will be using this bomb on this chest. Oops. That's really mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> so keys will al always give you that prompt, which makes it really easy to get some decay out of a chest like that. Yeah. Whereas the common items only give you textbooks the first time, which is also why for some of them um, Robert did this block thing into it so that this first text box, text box doesn't appear until he wants it to. Yeah, nice. That's a, that's a pretty tricky jump. Harder than this ladder. But <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the, the key that I needed was at the bottom of the pool. And you can only normally get it by lowering the water three different times which is the, the purpose of that temple. But we can just skip it by jumping around out of bounds to the bottom of the pool straight away. Why did the temple end instantly once you got the heart and so <laughs> to exit? Yeah, uh, so when I did the out of bounds, there was the trigger to go, the trigger for the cutscene to go out of the temple. And because of zombie gay, I stored it. So when I regained life, it played immediately which put me outside. It's a nice side effect, I guess. Yeah. yeah, it's really convenient. So the zombie cave was actually necessary to get out of bounds there because um, I needed to go past the cutscene that was normally there. Now we have the key for the turtle fortress. Going around here to skip a fight. And then here there's a health potion, which I will need a lot later on, but getting it here means I don't have to buy it. Oops. A lot of fighting normally here. Uh, luckily, there's that mm. weird seam in the wall. There's a, an elevator in that room that goes up to that point, and I think because of that there's this remaining seam that will let K like, hang on it and jump from it. Mm. <laughs> it's 
it's convenient. Do you think we have time for a donation or two? Uh, yeah, we can go for a donation. I can do that. We have got five dollars from DeGraff. He says, "Good luck and lots of fun, epic dude guy and Toka. Enjoy." And we have got fifty dollars from Sphere. He says, "Hi, good luck." And that is going towards the uh, free and perfect incentive. So again, about six six and a half hours from now, we have got the Step Mania, and there are two incentives at a thousand dollars to be met for that. We've got three hundred five out of a thousand for free and perfect, and the Euro Beat is at five hundred forty three out of a thousand. So let's keep them coming and let's get that met. Thank you so much. So interesting fact here is um, when you have full inventory, all of the bots will give either money or nothing. And we used to use that a lot to get a lot of money to buy Berserk potions. Uh, but because of the, the demon potion that I used, we don't have to do that anymore. So maybe that looked a bit confusing, but I. I triggered the fight that I skipped, so it put me on the on the other side. Some more platforming here, and the level is pretty much over already. I have everything I need. Just need to uh, to go to the ending. And here's the frog that you would normally first meet because he needs your help. Cause the frog city is like on fire or something. But I'm not gonna do any of that. <laughs> Imagine it's the first time of him meeting you and you're oh, like, yeah, I took care of it, bye. it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's right there. There we go. So on to our first boss fight, boss fight that we don't skip. Zerg potion to do double damage, I think. which means I only have to do that twice. Have to wait until he's ready again. Also, the name of this turtle is Met Tor. <laughs> Shoutouts to Eraser for that. So yeah, that was that fight. Pretty quick. I think that also showed how convenient the or how useful the Berserk Potion is. Um, and it so it doubles the damage of your weapon, right? So for later weapons, it's more useful, I guess. Well, equally useful, maybe. <laughs> well, that's the yeah. question. Like, do the fights scale with the weapons equally, or do, they, do the weapons become more OP over time? Yeah, the, we're going to keep this sword until we get like the last hammer and yeah that hammer just does insane damage so with the berserk potion applied to that you pretty much one shot most things yeah. which is also necessary because the enemies really gang up on you and do a lot of damage so here another one of these races uh, need to avoid the bombs. I don't really care too much about taking damage because I have armor right now, which I picked up in the last level. It's just that when you get hit, you get locked into the du direction you're going for a bit, and that might miss, make you miss one of these rings. And that's, like, then you have to redo it probably. Trying to not take any damage. If you're so worried about the countdown, just fly faster. It says that. Press A. <laughs> Speed up. Oh, but I can do that? Oh, wow. Oh, I guess I'm already am. I just couldn't feel my thumb anymore from <laughs> smashing it all the time. No, oh, Forsaken City? Yes. This is probably the most interesting level of this game. Um, you would normally this is the only level that you would normally go to twice, which means that uh, the end of the second time you would get here is already present right now. So obviously us speedrunners are very interested in accessing that. 
The only thing preventing us from getting there is uh, a bridge, which we cannot lower right now. But luckily, on the other side of the bridge, <laughs> trying to get out of bounds here, it's kind of hard. Um, on the other side of the bridge is a house. Nice. And all of the houses in the level are loaded separately from the rest of the level, but they are together in a sense. So if I can get in a house that's close to that house, where it's, um, does that make sense? I don't know. So <laughs> it get, will once we get there. Yeah. Right. So get close to a house that's close in the section where it's loaded and then go out of bounds in that house and then jump to the house we want to go. That's uh, what we're planning on doing right now. I'm going somewhere where such a house exists. I'm gonna get this save point because this trick is definitely one of the hardest ones. So here's the house. Luckily there's a box here. We can clip behind. That was a really bad jump. So we need to clip behind the box and jump around the house onto the shelf. And then from the shelf I have enough height and good position to be able to oh. jump to the next oh. house. I'm going to line up the camera so it's straight. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> that is just such an awesome skip. Like, I could never think of s s something that brilliant. So <laughs> shout outs to Glitches and stuff for uh, making that glitch possible, or that skip. Super awesome. Yeah. And actually both parts of this skip um, are equally difficult, almost. Like the first um, the first um, half where you get out of bounds, um, it's, it's a rather finicky roll, right? If you, like if you go too far, you fall off. If you don't go far enough, you don't clip. Then you have the jump, which is also you have to jump around um, to get on that shelf. Also very hard, and then the jump from house A to house B barely reaches it as far as I remember so you yes. really want that's why I really set up the straight camera and have to double jump as late as possible yeah you really need the maximum distance like even in practice I sometimes just don't make it because I don't jump far enough which is the, one of the most frustrating things you get two-thirds of the skip done and then uh, didn't reach the house oops wow that's rude So that's uh, the fight that you have to do, which unlocks. So the fight triggers after you go past the bridge and pull the lever, and then after the fight you can go here, which ends the level uh, the second time you would get there. So we basically skipped like three levels, I think. That's a really big time save. And now on to another boss fight. I need to get a 5 combo with the Berserk first time and then kind of try to keep my combo up. Okay, random lag. <laughs> As he does stuff until he's ready again. Because for the next time I need a 15 combo with the Berserk up and that will kill him. Armor, so I'm gonna get rid of that here. Actually, that boat level, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there was a skip for that, which later was banned because it's part of the any percent category, right? Yeah, I think that must have been fun of one of the first instances where we found out that the triggers are loaded somewhere else, the, the triggers to end the level. Because I remember someone in chat said 
just jump off the boat and then <laughs> the fight will finish. And we didn't <laughs> believe them until we tried it and then it was actually true. And then the whole thing started and um, yeah, eventually we created the separate categories. So here I'm doing some weird stuff. I'm gonna kill these enemies just so that I can have a cutscene. There's three crabs and two birds that I need to kill. And they won't take any damage from my sword, because normally you would have a hammer at this point. But I don't have it, so bombs and magic will deal with them. So there's one bird remaining, but first I'm gonna get zombie K right now. Zombie K achieved, and I have a health potion to get out of Zombie K. And what I want, the goal here is to swim for a really long time. So I have the cutscene stored right now, and when I pop the health potion, the cutscene will trigger, which will pull K out of the water for a bit, which resets the meter you can see right now, which effectively will let me swim twice as far. So I can swim all the way around to the next section of this level, skipping multiple fights. So there we go. It's actually a very creative use of Zombie K to extend your swim. I think that's the only instance in the run where we do that. Yeah. 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 So I guess Adam found that just for this section. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Sadly, we still have to do a lot of uh, platforming like this here. Which is kind of tricky sometimes. I'm gonna build up combo so I can open these chests for some money. I mean, it's a lot of money you have already. What do you need it for? Want to buy real estate or? Oh, okay. Wait, did I... I think I triggered it twice. Yeah, but sometimes. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Yeah, after this level I will be able to buy the final weapon that we're gonna use. Pretty expensive. The weapon we should already have as of. Mm, no, I don't think no? you can actually find that weapon. I think you can only buy it. Oh, okay. But there's another hammer we should be having right now. Right, yeah. So it's also <laughs> a hammer, but a, but a different one, <laughs> right? What'd you say? So it's also a hammer, but a different one. Yeah, yeah. just a, a better one. So hammers in general do more damage, and then obviously the, the better hammer does even more damage. But its uh, its downside is that it's a bit slower, but for us that doesn't really matter. Yeah. But I mean that's the usual thing with melee weapons and such games, right? Uh, yeah. Um, strong means slow. So yeah, for those buttons we need to build combo it has like the number on it which you need to have yeah that's this level already done you can hit the trigger here and that cutscene you were seeing was the, uh, the boss that exists in this level but I'm not gonna fight him because I don't want to there's the hammer so that hammers the last weapon we will be getting, which is a very big upgrade from what we have right now. And also inter interestingly is uh, the magic that I've used a couple times is actually based on the weapon you're wielding. But it's also slower when you have the hammer out. But what you can do is start the magic in sword and then swap to hammer 
to get the animation of the sword with the power of the hammer, which will pretty much kill everyone here. Almost. Some more money. What do you still need money for? If the strongest weapon of the game, all kinds of potions. <laughs> Yeah, it's what because else uh, I need a lot more reserve potions oh. and they get super expensive. Also, I'm out of bounds. Um, oh. <laughs> this is my least favorite skip. Oh. 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 <sighs> wow. That's, that hurts. Yeah, you can use this move that I haven't used yet, but um, you can use it in a couple places to get out of bounds. This. Oh, whoops. This is the only place in the current state of the route where we use it. It has a lot of momentum at the top, so that's why it pushes you out. Uh -huh. right, very nice. Yeah, that's actually a pretty stupid jump. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's just really hard to see, and you actually can't stand uh, what am I trying to say there's only a small part of it that act that's actually out of bounds which is what makes it really hard there we go so here this level is filled with fights that we're going to skip So what I'm trying to do there is throw a bomb, die to it, and then throw the magic potion I have on top of myself, and then he has to grab it. I need to throw it slightly later. So the reason I can throw it right now is because I have full magic, and I'm trying to use it, but I can't. And the only other item that does that is the health potion. So we need both of those in this level. There we go. Because it's a really easy way to get zombie K without having anything around. Now we're gonna run through all these areas which would have fights in them that take ages and not do any of them. See the gorillas up there. Normally they would like throw stuff at you, but they do that anyway. <laughs> so here's a cutscene that I'm gonna store because I wanna end up here. So all the cutscenes play, but uh, the one I stored just now plays last. So I I stay here. Yeah, so that also determines the position where you end up, yeah. And I hope you brought some sunglasses because we're <laughs> gonna looking at this lava for a while. Right now it's pretty deadly, but maybe later on it won't be. I wonder how. Just need a bit of time to accommodate to the heat down here, I think. Hope I won't get banned because of all this self-harm. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> So there we go. We set it up on top of the button there to kind of extend the use of this zombie K. I need to focus for this jump. Okay. Yeah, we extend the use of the zombie K because the, the button opens a door and it has a cutscene if you go off the button. But if we're a zombie K, that cutscene doesn't play. So we don't have to do the intended mechanic for opening the door. And we get zombie gate to skip everything else in this level. By just walking on the lava. You shouldn't be rolling here because you can actually slip through the stairs sometimes. Death Canyon. Yeah. Kind of fitting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am dead. So. Yes, uh, I know. 
the last part here, and then there's a save point. I do have a death stored right now, so I'm gonna get the save and then reload it to have full health instead of one health less. Yeah, in case we fail to mention that uh, save points refill your health. Hmm. So, yeah. uh, like I think it was kind of obvious, but still, good, good to mention. Focus on the fight. Need to pick up a couple of these magic thingies so I can use magic again. These cat statues use lasers that also hurt themselves. Interesting. A lot of orange arrows on the screen. Is that okay? <laughs> oh, I want to use mixed things. signals. Just use magic to kill everything. And kill all the remaining birds. And I want to have around like 1600-ish. Yeah. All looking good. That's this level done. And then the last level before the final level didn't need any of that money. <laughs> I think the any percent or the RLC route that you do when you aren't in the marathon relies on getting a, a drop there, which I just got. But I just routed it that I can buy it with money. But I'll just grab it anyway. It saves us having to buy it, so why not? I guess I can buy an extra in case I mess up. It's not bad. Just outrunning the lava that's chasing me right now. Not gonna do anything fancy on this ladder because it always messes up and then I die. This ladder is easy though. So there's a key in that box. And you know what we do with those. It's zombie cave. So interesting in this level is that uh, keys actually are one and the same. So the key would be used on that door, but we can skip that door and then use the key on the next door. Generic keys, my favorite. <laughs> yes. We can do that one so we don't have to get the fight, which would normally give you a key, I think. I assume. And then another key here, free to grab. Time for the last Kappa of Defense. <laughs> And we made it through. There they were. Really penetrated their barriers here. <laughs> so yeah, onto the boss arena. Let's do some shopping real quick. The four, ber four berserk potions should be plenty. He has three different phases. So normally you would want to three. First phase will be pretty quick. Because of a weapon swap trick we can do. So we use the first two attacks of the sword and then the third of the hammer, which is like the most powerful attack you can do. And doing it like that makes it quick enough for uh, the final boss to not go away. So there he is, transformed right now. That's not even his final form. So they say. Yeah. Yeah. There's a mechanic there where one of the chest buttons uh, are lit up more red than the other. Sometimes it's pretty hard to see. Yeah. 
Okay, now phase three, as you can see. I'm just gonna dash around here because he does a lot of damage. Does not want to get hit. Let's look until he does fire. And he will be able to hit him. Okay, go the other way. This time. <laughs> so. Quite underestimate, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that was pretty good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Shun defeated and an end to the gorillas. Let's see if we can escape here. Cutscene's really loud. <laughs> I guess I can skip the cutscene. Yeah, that was Legend of K. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed being here mm -hmm. and showing you the run. Mm -hmm. and Shoutouts uh, to project lead Jan Jökul. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> thanks for making um, this fantastic game. Shoutouts to the K community. I haven't been really uh, active in it recently, but... Same. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, is a, it is a pretty cool game. So if you want to try it out, we do have a Discord for it, which you can access through speedrun.com, probably. Do you have anything to say? No, thanks for having me. I hope I did, uh, yeah. um, thanks for being here. Yeah. So not not subpar job on commentary, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, contributed something. And yeah. yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for having us. Wonderful. Thank Congratulations you. on that really, really good run. Epic dude guy. That was Legend of K. So next up, we've got DreamWorks Dragons, Dawn of New Riders by Mod. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>